Right, I've just taken all the um, shopping through into the kitchen, came back for my camera. Snoop's following me everywhere, it's like, it's like my shadow. He thinks he's missing out on something. Right, let's put that there. I had just boiled the kettle as well, that's just flipped off. Oh, move these bags over so I've got somewhere to put the, um, oh, put the camera. Here we go, guys. I'll put a card on because my arm's got cold. That was gorgeous. <laughs> that was so nice. And the boys have had their sausage. They didn't say thank you, they just woofed it down. Pardon the pun. Right, there you go. There's my snoopers and my little sooty. Let's just turn this around a little bit more. Oops. How's that? That's better. Keeps toppling over. There, how's that? That's better. Right, let's do the unpack. Nothing super exciting. Milk. <laughs> Milk. I went to the um, my local shop who does my Mars bars. I went to there yesterday to pick a package up and um, the fella said to me, oh, he said, oh, they haven't turned up. I asked for them. He said he'd get them for me today. Uh, so I went back. As soon as I got back from work, I went straight to this little shop and the bloke said, oh, he said, um, we haven't got them here. They're at the other shop. He said, I'll, I'll get them up here for, for you tomorrow if that's okay. So I said, yeah, that's fine. I'll pop around and get them. So I've got another 48 Mars bars coming, guys. So that happened today. Um, that's my Branston. I've got a couple of honeys. I've got a brick of cheese. And I've got my garlic apples again. They still had their garlic apples in um, Aldi. So I've got some garlic apples. So I'll pop this bag away. Who's there? Right, I'll put these away first, otherwise I'm going to end up with too much stuff on the sides. So let's slide that one up there. I'm going to have a cup of tea anyway, because I'm, I'll keep this one out because I'm going to have a cup of tea. Put that over there. Put these two in. One, two. Um, apples can go in the bottom and the cheese. That's all I've got there for the moment. There's still stuff to go in there, but they're in the other bags. Right, Branston can go in here. That's it, and my honeys go in there as well. There we go, right. That's the first bag done. Um, it was a really good day at work today. I was on sales nearly all day I had a couple of little jobs I had to sort out but it was sales virtually all day so that was really nice I enjoy doing that um, I haven't got the pressure that you get on retail work because retail work is there's always a time crunch the customer wants it at dinner time or they want it at half past five and there's it's always uh, push 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 to get it done and if you find extra work then they you have to do or the reception does the upsell they phone up the customer and say well, we found it needs tires or it needs dispads would you like them done and if they say yes, then that stacks the pressure on because you've still got to get the car on the same time, but you've got all this extra work to do. But it worked really well for me today because I was doing sales, I didn't really get that. I did a couple of little, little odd jobs that um, they, the others couldn't do because they were busy doing jobs. So I had sales work and a couple of other jobs, but it was really nice, a really good day. In fact, the, the other mechanics all started to moan at the end of the day that they'd run out of work and they were watching the clock and they said they've never known a day to go quite so slowly. <laughs> but it was beautiful weather-wise. The sun came out, it's absolutely glorious today. So we've had another nice day. That was in Cambridge, really nice and sunny. And I drove back in the sunshine, so it was lovely. Um, I've just come back obviously from doing my shopping and it's a clear sky, so I think the temperature is gonna drop again tonight. And the moon's out, it looks absolutely spectacular. All the stars are out, it looks really nice out there but I think it's gonna be fresh. Right, let's do this one. Uh, this is, um, I've got some more cod uh, for my freezer because I used all my cod up the other day, so I've got some chunky cod. I've got some sausages. That's for me and the boys. I'm not sure if we do them at the weekend, but I've got some sausages. Those, uh, utterly butterly because I ran out of butter. Get rid of the bag, don't need that. Then I've got uh, one, two, three packs of sandwich meat for me next week. And I've got another meat for my boys. So I'll put these straight away. That's all the fridge. That's got to go over there. That goes there. 
sandwich meat goes up the top. And what else have I got? Sausages. Um, that's it. Then that's freezers. So I'll hang on a second because I've got more freezer things to go in. So that's that one. Right, next one. Oh dear. Here we go. Ta da! That's my bread. <laughs> I might have bought one too many loaves of bread. I thought I'd use all the bread up, but I think there's still one in the freezer, which means I'm gonna have um, too much bread to get in the freezer. We'll have to have a look. Oh, I think I might have made a mistake there. Got three loaves of bread. And I've got some custard because uh, Aldi hadn't got any custard. The lady was filling the shelf up while I was there, but I couldn't see any custard on her trolley. So I knew I was going to go up to Tesco's to get the, um, the bread and the, the um, custard is almost the same price, almost exactly the same price. I think there's literally just a few pence in it, so that does make a lot of difference. So let's pop that away. Right, so two new custards. One, two, and I've got one that I've nearly finished anyway. Bread has got to go in the freezer. Now this is where I think I might be yeah, I've got another loaf in there, I thought I'd uh, So I'm gonna to have to keep one out. Let's have a look. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. I've nearly finished this loaf that's in the cupboard. So, yeah, that should work well. I should get away with that. One down the bottom, and we're in. Right, that worked well. Whew, that was lucky. I got some more flea treatment for the dogs for the end of the month. As I was in Tesco's, I thought, well, I'll get it now. So I've got that. Um, right, one more bag, guys. Oh, here we go. And this is my yogurts. You know I love my Audi yogurts. Um, I don't know how many of you have actually tried these yogurts, but they are so nice. Got enough for a week, I should have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I've got seven yogurts. So, they can go in there. I've got the all important apple pies. <laughs> and I've got some more cakes for work for my little um, muffins. Mini muffins, they call them. They're, they're lovely. So, I've got some mini muffins. Right. Right, my bags are flat packed. I've just got to put these away, then we can have a chat. Things that have gone on today. It's been a good day, so it's been a really good day. Those there. Those got to go in the cupboard. Down here. And those that's it. Right, let's put these yogurts away. Lovely. Right, that's everything away. Just get the bags to fold up and put away, but I can do that later and then I can put them back in the front room. I always keep the bags in the front room by the front door so I don't forget when I go out. Right, here we go. That's it. Right, I'll leave these over here. We can make that cup of tea, then I can tell you what uh, what else happened today. Right, that's everything away, apart from the milk. I'll slide this over here, get my cup, and we can have that cup of tea. Oh, I need this. Right, so, other things that happened today. I heard the service manager talking to one of the salesmen uh, by the office door. I was very close to the office in the workshop and I could hear him saying that um, he'd got April doing all this sales work. <laughs> and then he said, but I'm going to lose April, uh, not next week, the week after, because she's going to uh, Bury St Edmunds. And he said, so I'm going to be two men down. <laughs> and so I looked at him when he said two men down and he saw me glaring. <laughs> and he went, 
uh, correction, he said, we're going to be <laughs> one man and one woman down. <laughs> and I'll put the thumb up. <laughs> and he said to the sons, you have to be politically correct around here all the time. <laughs> so that was quite amusing. They also had something going on at work um, that I should have participated in, but I didn't, didn't remember. I'd, I'd read the email and I forgot it was today that it was actually happening. And what it was, it was a wear pink to work day. <laughs> and when I got to work, uh, the assistant service manager came out and she had a um, pink shirt on underneath her black blazer. And she had like um, some pink trousers or, or stripy pink trousers. And I went, ah, I should have worn some pink. <laughs> I couldn't have worn much, but I could have put a pink bow in my hair or, or something, but I just forgot all about it. So maybe next time, if I remember, I could go in a pink dress or something like that. What do you think? <laughs> I don't think that would have worked in the workshop. But yes, it was a kind of uh, a cancer. It was raising money for, for cancer. And um, so they were all wearing pink. So everybody in the office was wearing pink. I think in up the sales, they were wearing pink as well. So yeah, I missed out on it because I just, I forgot about it. I had read the email and I thought, oh, that'll be interesting. And then I just totally forgot about it. So yeah, they're all wearing pink today. Not me though. <laughs> Maybe next year. So I looked at my, I've got a counter on my phone. Now it's something you, you can all do is I've set up a retirement counter on my phone. And if you go to the app store on your phone and you going for retirement, there's these sites where you can get a, an app for counting down your age, uh, your retirement date. And so I've got that on my phone and I'm now down to one year, three months and 29 days as of today. So, and so don't forget my birthday is my retirement date. Okay, so I've got another three, uh, three months and 29 days until my birthday. And that's also when I'm going to have my breasts done. So Every time I see that, I forget about the year, I'm just looking at the months and the days. I'm thinking, yeah, three months, 29 days, I'm gonna have my breast done. <laughs> right, um, I think I did boil the kettle, I'll flick it on again. So yes, so today's been really good. I've had a good day. Shopping's all done. Uh, I've just got to go and get some Mars bars tomorrow, which uh, just in a, a fairly close, the shop's fairly close, it's not that far. So I can go and do that. So, yeah. Right, I have got a shout out that I missed last night. And I'd better do it now because time wise it's 9.34 now. So if I do it now, then I'll, if I forget later, okay, you, you'll be able to forgive me, won't you? Um, right, the shout out is to Denise's sister, Anne, and it was her birthday yesterday. And I missed out, so I'm sorry, Denise, but I thought I'd better get it in before I forget. So I missed it. I don't know how I missed it or whether it went on after done the video I can't remember but anyway that's it so Denise's birthday and um, it was Denise's sister's birthday yesterday and her name is Anne so there you go right let me pour my cup of tea and we can sit down right I can put my milk away now okay I've got a sneeze coming guys <laughs> Sorry, oh, I usually come in free, so that might be one of three. <clears throat> right, here we go, let's have a puggle. Oh gosh, it's hot. Need to let that sit and stir for a bit. So I'll cross that off my list. Right, I'm not going to do the washing up yet, I'll do it later on. I will see if I can put another video on around the 10, maybe 10.30, because it's, it's 9.30 now, guys. I'm a lot later than I, am, you, I usually am. It's really black out there. <laughs> it was black when I went to Audi. At, I suppose I must have been at Audi about seven, was it half past seven, something like that? So I was still fairly early, but yes, pitch black. The car park at Audi is really bad. They've got one set of floodlights that seems to work and none of the others seem to work, so the, the car park is black. <clears throat> Another puggle now. I think I've put a bit too much milk in there. 
There we go. That was really foggy going to work this morning. Um, when I went out with the boys early this morning for their walk, um, it was very clear. The stars were out, the moon was out, but it was very slightly hazy. And the, I think it was a special moon, wasn't it? Like a harvest moon or something like that. There's something special about the moon supposedly today. Um, but because it was slightly hazy, it wasn't quite as sharp as it should have been. Uh, but it was a lovely walk anyway albeit a little bit cold. And then when I drove to work, the fog had really thickened up. And because I live in the valley, I live in the Stour Valley, the bottom of the valley is always full of fog. And then as you come up the sides of the valley to the top of the valley, um, it clears. And so I was going, I have to go cross country to get to Cambridge from where I live. So I'm going in and out of the valley. So you're going into fog, out of fog, into fog, out. And the fog was really thick. Some of it was a real pea super. One of those where if you're driving your car and you've got the headlights on full, you can't see where you're going because it just glares back at you. So it wasn't a very nice drive. Uh, but the nearer I got to Cambridge, the clearer it got. So by the time I got to Cambridge, it wasn't bad at all. Right, let's go and have a sit down. I've got the telly on. I wasn't really watching it, but it is on. Right, let me put the camera down. Oops, that. If I can just mute the telly. There you go, that's better. Right, okay. There we go. So, that's it. So it's 9.37, uh, something like that. Um, if I sit back, guys, I'll try and pull this over without knocking, pull this close without knocking the phone over. Go. That wasn't bad. <laughs> there you go. Uh, right. Um, what else has happened? Nothing. It's been a really kind of normal day. It's been a lovely day, busy day. Went quickly for me, not so, so quick for the others, but I was still keen to get home. I got out of Cambridge really well again as well tonight. Um, so that was a, a Brucey bonus at, on the weekend. So yes, as soon as I got out that door, it was, I'm on holiday. <laughs> I'm on my weekend, my weekend starts now. So we've, we've done the washing, uh, we've done the shopping. I am going to put a load of washing in before I go to bed so that that's done in the morning. Um, whether or not the weather's going to be good enough to hang things on the line, I'm not sure yet. I think I might just have a look out the window in the morning and see what it's like. Um, I think if it's windy, um, should be okay, it might dry. I think there's a storm, there was a bit on the radio saying there was a storm, um, Alex, Ashley, I can't remember, it's a storm um, coming into Scotland, uh, high winds up in Scotland, so all you lot in Scotland going to get blown to bits apparently, um, so you better batten down the hatches. Uh, I did have a word with Donna up there, <laughs> and she said that the wind had started to pick up uh, this afternoon, so yeah, it sounds like they might be having a storm. I think it was Ashley, Storm Ashley. Uh, that was probably be on the news this evening as well. Uh, not that I watch the news. That's something I don't do. I do not watch the news and I don't buy newspapers. Um, I find it's quite... Um, it's always bad news. There's never anything really... There's no happy news anymore. It's all doom and gloom. <laughs> and I just don't bother watching it. I can't be bothered to watch it. It's just not worth the... Uh, the effort to watch it anymore so I just don't and I don't watch the weather forecast on telly things like that I the only news I hear is what's on the radio when I'm driving to work um, or if I want to know what the weather is up I either look out the window or check the app on my phone uh, but yeah I, I don't watch the news on the telly at all yeah it gets, can get quite dis, uh, disappointing isn't it uh, listening to some of these uh, things that are going on in the world I'd rather not know quite honestly Right, I think I'm going to suck my cup of tea up now and then I shall have a word with you guys later and let you know what's going on. And um, yeah, love you to bits and uh, I'm going to drink my cup of tea. Right, bye bye.